Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have a real treat for you. We're going to make our very own buttery steak seasoning that you can use on anything. Steak, chicken, pork, use it on fish or seafood. You're gonna love it. I promise you this stuff is so delicious, you're not gonna believe it. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. make a buttery steak seasoning blend and then coming up in a, another video soon we're going to have Rick show you how to use this seasoning and grill a delicious steak that you can serve anytime I mean who doesn't love a great steak so what we're gonna start off with is salt you can always leave the salt out if you are on a salt restricted diet or you can use the salt substitute that I know is out there so we have a quarter of a cup of kosher salt two tablespoons of cracked black pepper, two tablespoons of dehydrated minced onion, two tablespoons of onion powder. And I know that we're gonna repeat a couple of the seasonings, but the flavor that you get from the minced onion or the minced garlic or the garlic or onion powder are very different. And they have different levels of flavor that really do add to the blend. And then over here I have two tablespoons of dehydrated minced garlic, two tablespoons of garlic powder one tablespoon of turmeric which is optional if you don't have it this is really for color and then i have a couple of ingredients that are a little extra i'm going to leave links down below to where you can find them i've got two tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes which give this a really deep rich buttery flavor as well as a quarter of a cup of butter powder and any of you who are who put in like food storage or what have you. You might have butter powder, but um, I'm gonna show you what I've used. Now here's the, these are the, this is my preferred brand that I just, you know, purchased these bags and what I'll do is put these in mason jars and seal them with a vacuum sealer. But Anthony's are usually all organic. They're very good quality. They can be found on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. This is the nutritional yeast flakes. You can use this um, as a popcorn sprinkle. You can use it um, as a like substitute if you're a vegan you can use this um, to give it a cheesy flavor if that's what you're looking for like you add it to macaroni and, and um, make your own macaroni and cheese or if anywhere you want like a cheesy flavor this is what you want to use as nutritional yeast and then I also have butter powder which is also the Anthony's brand I buy a lot of the products that this company offers I really really like them I'll leave links down below where you can find them but this is a premium butter powder that's non-GMO and it smells amazing. So that's what we're gonna use to give this buttery steak seasoning. Now this is a very popular trend right now is to do a buttery steak seasoning. And really what it does is it mimics the flavor of a compound butter that you might get when you go to a steakhouse on your steak. Um, adding um, seasoned butter to your steak really does push it up to another level and it makes it so delicious. So this is like killing two birds with one stone. You're not actually using real butter. We're gonna use butter powder. You're gonna be able to keep this on your shelf for up to six months. It's gonna be really easy to use. You can use it on steak, chicken, pork, whatever. You could put this on fish, it'll be great. Oh, yeah. um, don't you think? You could mm -hmm. toss some shrimp in here and throw them on the grill mm -hmm. uh, and it'll be really delicious. So you know how I roll. If you've ever seen me do any of my seasoning blends, we always put them on a parchment and we always, always roll them up like this, pour them into the jar. Make sure we've got nothing left behind and we don't. Then I've got just a plastic lid here. We're gonna screw it on and we're gonna give this a good shake just to get everything blended together. That butter powder is, um, it's a little bit sticky, if you know what I mean. Let's get a powder, some, some like cornstarch can be sticky. So you wanna make sure you get that all blended up well in there. So the, the dried onion powder and garlic powder is gonna help keep that nice and loose as well. So. Here is our buttery steak seasoning. Ready for you to use on whatever you like. I'm gonna taste it. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good, you guys. You have to try this. This is really, really delicious. Mm. So that's how you make a buttery steak seasoning. 
summer's coming up, grilling season's coming up. I know you're gonna love this. I hope you give this a try and I hope you love it. Remember, I'll leave links down below to where you can get a couple of these products if you can't find them. And until next time, I'll see ya.